Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about transformers and it is from the book Electrical Machinery and Transformers by Bhag Guru. And here primarily we will be solving example 4.3 and this is on the request of a student. Now let's uh, see uh, what is an ideal transformer. The ideal transformer has no losses and this is the primary winding, secondary winding, supplied voltage, induced voltage, then the secondary induced voltage and the output voltage. These are the two currents I1 and I2. Now if we, the, the uh, um, windings have their uh, resistances and reluctances. So if we uh, consider those then the circuit will become like this. So we have the primary resistance, primary reluctance, similarly secondary resistance and secondary reluctance. And the ratio of voltages and the turns are given here V1 over V2 or E1 over E2. The induced voltages is equal to N1 over N2, number of turns, the primary and secondary. And this is generally represented as equal to A. This is called the turn ratio. The current is opposite of this. So instead of V1 at the top, now we have I2 at the top, not I1. And the remaining uh, thing is N1 over N2, which is equal to A. Now in case of a non-ideal transformer, you can see this is the voltage supplied. So there will be voltage drop here. And by KVL we can write that this voltage is equal to the voltage E1 plus the voltage drop here. And similarly, now this is larger than this, there will be drop in the path, therefore we can say that E1, uh, sorry E2 is equal to V2 plus this drop, E2 is equal to V2 plus this drop or we can also write it as V2 is equal to E2 minus the drop. Now, the, there is some confusion uh, um, about the transformer rating, so I'll try to explain it the way I understand it and the way I uh, would use in the book. Now, this is what is given and 23 kVA, so this means the power. VA, volt ampere or the power, this is the rated power and the concept here is that this is the maximum power that these windings can withstand. And then we have the voltage ratio, primary voltage and secondary voltage. Now look here 23 slash second, so this is primary, that is secondary. And here also these are the maximum voltages that is possible. Generally they are called nominal voltages, uh, so it is the ratio of V1 over V2 nominal. Okay, now the, the, the uh, information that we can obtain from this is, first of all, we calculate the turn ratio from this one, so primary divided by secondary 230, we get turn ratio 10. So this is one information that we get. The second information that we get is the secondary current. Now the secondary current, this one is the secondary current. So this will be power divided by voltage. Now power in kVA, 23 kVA divided by secondary voltage, 230. So this way we can calculate the current, secondary current. And the third thing we uh, use this is to get the output voltage or this is the terminal voltage we can say uh, 230 volts so this is terminal voltage V2 and it is used as a reference voltage to calculate all other voltage. So we take this voltage as, as reference and then we keep moving left to collect this voltage drop then we collect uh, uh, um, find the value of E2 then we move on the left hand side find E1 and then drop this one and then V1. So we will follow this technique. Now we come to our question. 
23 kVA, 2300 by 230, 60 hertz step down transformer has the following parameters. So these parameters I have just marked here. So these are the parameters given. The transformer is operating at 75% of the rated load. So this is one point that we'll consider what does this mean. If the power factor of the load is 0 0.86 leading, so what does this mean and what uh, effect it will have that we'll see. And then we have to determine the efficiency of the transformer. So the first thing we'll do is calculate the turn ratio. We have already done this, so it is the primary voltage divided by secondary voltage, so the turn ratio is 10. Now, to calculate efficiency, we can use these formulas. Efficiency is P out divided by P in into 100. A better way of writing is that it is P out divided by P out plus loss. So P out plus loss is actually P in uh, multiplied by 100%. Okay, now the complex power formulas are given in the books. Uh, this I have taken from the circuit book. So this is the complex power S, V RMS, I RMS conjugate. Then the apparent power is the magnitude of the two. And then we can calculate real power which is in watts. And the real power is actually required here to calculate the efficiency. So we'll primarily focus on this. And then we have the formula for reactive power. So the real power can also be written as real of S, that means real of this term. And in the book now, keep in mind that the in the book he has a used symbol I to represent I RMS and symbol I bar to represent I phasor, which is I RMS and angle theta. So the formula that he is using is the power supplied to the load which is V out is the real part. Now look here, this is the real part. The real part of the uh, V RMS or V phasor and I2 phasor conjugate. And similarly the power N will be written as real part of V I phasor and I uh, sorry V1 phasor and I1 phasor conjugate. So we'll use these two formulas. So the first case is the 75% of the rated current. Now what does this mean? The transformer is operating at 75% of the rated load current. That means we can say that the current I2, the circuit current, is 75% of I2 rated or 0.75 into I2 rated. Now, what is I2 rated? I2 rated can be calculated from the data given. So, let's see. I2 rated is VA over the secondary voltage. Now, VA is 23 kVA here, and the secondary voltage is 230. So, the rated current is 100 ampere. Now, we will be using, or the circuit is using 75% of that. So our I2 will be 0 0.7575 ampere. Now to uh, convert it into phasor, we need angle also with this. Now the angle can be found. Okay, so this is what we, we have the magnitude. We need an angle here. Angle can be found from the power factor. Power factor of the load, which is 0 0.866 leading. So we know that the power factor is cos of theta. So from here cos is uh, cos inverse of 0866 is 30 degree. And since it is leading, therefore this will be positive 30 degree. And therefore our I phasor will become 75 angle positive 30 degree. So this is I2 phasor. Okay, now we have I2 phasor, we know V2, then we can calculate this drop and then uh, we can calculate E2. So V2 230, we already, from the data we had gotten this value. Now the power supplied to the load, output power is the real part of V2 I2. 
So V2 is from here 230 and then I2 from here is 75 minus 30. Why minus 30? Because this is conjugate and in case of a conjugate we change this sign. So the, if you use your calculator you can find this value and uh, let me just give you a simple hint. Okay, so we were here, we first of all clear this, we go to complex mode, so 2 is for complex, we are in complex mode, now we will just enter this value, so let me just put a bracket. 230 shift angle 0 bracket close multiplied by 75 uh, angle shift angle minus 30 equal sign so we get 14938, this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. Now we, we only need the real part, real part of this is 14938.94. So this is how you get the answer. So we have calculated the uh, load power or the output power. Now we need to calculate the input power. So, for input power, now first of all we need to calculate this current I1 and here we will not be using uh, this voltage to calculate or the power divided by voltage to calculate I1, uh, rather we will use the transformer ratio. This is important because the, the power divided by voltage formula can only be applied if the transformer is 100% efficient which is practically not possible and therefore we will use the turn ratio to get I1 from I2. So I1 can be written as I2 over A. I2 was this value divided by 10. So this is I1. And then E1 or V1 from here you can see this drop plus E1 and E1 again we will calculate by the transformer ratio so E1 is A E2 and E2 from here is this value drop here plus Vz Vz we already know I we already know Z2 from here you can see this is Z2 so solving this we get this value of E, E2. You can use again your calculator for this. Let's see, clear 230, shift angle 0 plus bracket 75, shift angle 30 multiplied by 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12 for j will write i bracket close now this answer is in uh, rectangular form the answer given here is in polar form so to go to polar we we'll press shift complex and then we we'll select this option so for 3 and our answer will be 228.287 and angle is 2.3 2.33 so this is how you get the answer okay now that we have got E2 we move to get E1 so E1 is A times E2, so this is the value of E1 and now E1 known, so we will calculate V1, same technique, this plus drop here, so E1 plus drop 
in the primary side we get v1 okay so i1 we have found v1 we have found and output power already found so now we can find the input power so p input will be real of v1 phasor multiplied by i1 phasor conjugate so v1 is this value in phasor i1 is this value for conjugate we'll put the minus sign solving the input power will be this much and now the efficiency is just division of the two and so the answer is 0.971 or 97.1% so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you